I figured the best way to tell this story would be to, to make a, a little video um, in honor of Steve Scalise and, and we're just believing God that he's going to have a complete and uh, uh, healthy recovery uh, from, the, from the wounds he sustained today uh, in Washington, D.C., doing his job, um, serving our country, uh, playing baseball. Can you believe that? Playing baseball. How? What an attack on America uh, during a baseball practice. But uh, I met Steve uh, during the uh, OBR deployment here in our hometown of Hammond. Um, we were uh, well into the deployment um, and really banging out a lot of meals every day. And uh, uh, so we had people coming by to see the operation, see what was going on. And uh, uh, we got word that uh, Steve Scalise was, was on his way. And of course, the uh, Secret Service came in ahead of time and kind of scanned the whole operation and building and where we were cooking. And, uh, and then uh, Steve showed up and, and he was just kind of hanging out. Now, when I heard he was coming, I, I, uh, I left some chicken on uh, a little bit longer and made what I call forgotten chicken. And uh, uh, so it, it, it's, it's phenomenal chicken, uh, but it's cooked a little bit extra long and uh, really tender, really juicy, really flavorful. And so I had some and I, I heard he was coming, so I just left it on to get, get perfect for him. So anyways, he comes in and uh, his crew and everything, and they're doing the photo ops and Stan and Will are, are, are walking him around and showing him everything. And, and I saw him down at the end there and uh, so then he came walking down the aisle, and I said, uh, I said, Steve, I said, uh, hey, I got something special for you. And I uh, opened up the pit and uh, pulled out the chicken. I said, man, you got to try some of this. And so he took a bite, and he was like, oh, man, this is great. So he calls over his Secret Service guys. He said, come here, guys. You got to try this. You got to try this. So while I had him there, um, I told him the thank you fairy story about Brooke and uh, how he was thanked. And... Uh, he, the, his reaction was 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 priceless. I mean, he he just thought he just thought that was so cool, and uh, so anyways, he he gets done doing that, and and then he starts walking, you know, walking off, and they're 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 showing him everything else, and and he kind of got to the end, and uh, he, well, actually, he went into the building, was looking in there, and he's walking out, and, he, and then he walks up, and he says, hey hey, come here, come here. So he comes back to where I was at the pits, and he he grabs one of his staffers, gives him his phone, and says, I want a picture with Jeff. And so, so it was cool, you know, we say, oh, cool, man. And so he takes a picture, and goes about walking around and stuff like that. And then he's getting ready to leave. And, uh, and um, I looked down the aisle uh, to where he was going out to his, to his uh, suburban. And, I, and he looked back at me and he stopped and turned and came down to me, didn't say a word, and just gave me the biggest hug just wrapped his arms around me and just hugged me and, and one of those hugs where he just just holding on he was just holding on and I was just like Steve just do your job man just do your job you know what you need to do just do it man just do it and uh he didn't say a word he didn't say a word and uh and then he, he turned and, and went went on his way and uh it just really impacted me really you know I, and of course with all the news and everything today it made me re recall that story and I wanted to share it with you um, because uh, you know the thank you fairy impacts a lot of people and uh, and we need to be thankful for for our representatives and and what they do politicians and uh, we're living in a nasty evil world and uh, but good will win good will win out over evil and um, over time you're gonna see that so God bless you Steve and uh, I wish you all the best full recovery I know you're gonna do that you're you're from Louisiana you're tough you're a fighter and uh, you'll get her done so I uh, just want to share that with you God bless you all uh, if you haven't turned your life over to Jesus, today would be a good day to do it because you never know. You never know. You could be practicing baseball and it all end. So make a right decision. Do it. Talk to you later. God bless you.